how to use sales as a science and help us budget for leads. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw our standard funnel. And in this funnel, I'm gonna come out with a win. And that win, hmm, let's say $10,000 in annual contract value. In order for me to win an, a $10,000 deal, you know, not every opportunity is gonna be a win. So let's say that our win rate shows 25%, meaning one win requires four opportunities. Now, in order to have these qualified opportunities, I also need a number of meetings to determine if the opportunity is qualified. That opportunity, we call sales qualified lead. In order to get four qualified opportunities, let's say that only eight out of 10 are qualified opportunities of the meetings that I'm having. That means I need five meetings. In order to get five meetings, you know, like some, let's say this is inbound, I, I need 10 inbound leads. We call those inbound leads, in this case, MQLs. That means from 10 to five, that's a 50% conversion rate. I now have three conversion rates that allow me to start budgeting for my $10,000 win. Now, how much am I willing to spend on a $10,000 win in order to for a guaranteed win? Let's say I'm using 10%. So I'm willing to spend $1,000 for a guaranteed $10,000 win. How much can I spend on my MQLs? Well, if my win rate from an MQL to a win is one in 10, that means that essentially I am willing to spend $100 per MQL in order to make sure that I get one win ratio of $1,000 spent into a $10,000 win. That gives me an ID on how much essentially I am willing to spend over a given month. Because if in a given month I want more of these wins, let's say I want 25 of those wins, so in order to have 25 of those wins here, what I need to do, I need to spend $100 times 10 times 25, and that gives me my budget for that month in order to spend on MQLs. This allows us to use, based on these metrics, a very rudimentary science level in order to determine budget, cost per MQL, and so on and so forth. Now, not every MQL is created equal. So for example, an inbound MQL may come in through content, which is differently priced than when we go to a trade show. So keep that in mind. With this, we are using science in order to determine what price we can pay for an MQL, and it helps us budget on a monthly basis on what we need to spend on MQLs in order to help us to win the right amount of revenue.